Hello and welcome to the first tutorial on the HTML5 canvas. So in uh, this tutorial series we'll look at how to use the HTML5 canvas element and how to use um, JavaScript and HTML5 to create um, animations and also begin creating HTML5 games. So in this tutorial we're going to look at the canvas element HTML5 canvas element and how that can be used to start drawing shapes which will later be um, used to um, make animations and games. So the HTML5 canvas basically as I just said it allows you to draw up different uh, shapes and to animate things so to animate different shapes and to also um, create games with those shapes so to have things like collision detection um, have objects moving around, things shooting or um, hitting each other, that kind of thing. So the canvas is kind of like the stage. So you need a stage for all of this to happen on. So to create the canvas, we can just use the canvas tag in the body section of our web page. So we can say canvas and that's the tag that we use and we need to give the canvas an ID. So I'm going to give this canvas an ID of my canvas. So give it a name and then specify the width and the height of the canvas. So this will be 200 width and height will be 100. Okay, so we're kind of just setting up the stage here um, for our, um, our drawing. All right, so I've created the canvas, but now this canvas needs um, a style. So we'll give it a white background and a black border and um, We'll give it a black border so that we can distinguish the canvas from the rest of the page. Which we can actually see where the canvas is. So in the head section of the web page, we can add a style tag. I'll just close that off. And inside the two style tags, we can call this canvas using its ID. So hashtag my canvas. Oops. And in curly braces, we can then specify the style for this. So we can say background color of, um, well, we can just say white. And, um, or we could specify in quotation marks, we could use the um, hexadecimal color code with the hashtag inside quotation marks, but we'll just say white. And the border will be one pixel thick and it will be a solid line and it will be black in color. All right, so that's it. That's all we need to do to set the style for our canvas. So save it and test it in the browser. And there we go, that's the canvas. So as you can see, it's 200 wide and 100 in height. So we've got the canvas there and we've got a style for the canvas. Now we need to um, use some JavaScript code to start drawing shapes inside the canvas. So we'll use the script tag, close that off. And inside the script tag, we're going to create a function. So we'll say, uh, we'll make a function that will basically draw up the um, shapes that we're gonna have in this canvas. So we'll call the function draw. And inside this function, there's a few things we need to do. So firstly, we need to grab the canvas. So we'll make a variable that will um, store all of this in. We'll set up the canvas and um, store it in this variable called context or CTA. And that will be equal to, sorry, phone's just going off, document.getElement by ID. And in brackets and quotation marks will refer to the ID of the canvas we want, okay, which is called my canvas. And then after that, we'll say get context and in quotation mark, in brackets and quotation marks, we'll say 2D. So we're going to um, basically by saying this, we're going to um, be able to or be allowed to use all of the different um, canvas properties and methods. So we'll be able to start drawing shapes and specifying the style of shapes and size of shapes and the position and all of that. So that's what we'll do um, here. So we can end that line with a semicolon. And on the next line, we can actually 
um, start styling this uh, this uh, shape that we're going to make, this rectangle. So we can say ctx dot uh, fill style, and this is going to be equal to red. So uh, actually, we need to put that in quotation marks. So it's going to be a red filled rectangle. And then we're going to say um, stroke style equals blue. Okay, so it's going to have a blue border around. Um, it's going to be a red rectangle with a blue border around it. All right, so we've got the fill style. We've got the stroke style. Now we can say CTX fill rect which will basically fill this rectangle. And then in brackets, there's four different things we need to put in here separated by a comma. And in order, they are the X and Y position and the width and the height. Okay, so we're going to enter values here separated by commas, which will represent the X position. So uh, X going from left to right, the Y position, so going up and down the screen, and then the width and the height of the rectangle. So the position, where the rectangle is inside the canvas and um, its width and height. So X will set to zero and Y will set to zero. So it'll be in the top left corner of the canvas. And then the width will be 150 and the height will set to 75. Okay, and that's it. So there's our function that creates um, or sets up the uh, 2D so we're using get context 2D. It basically sets up the canvas so we can uh, create a rectangle in it and we've set the fill style and the stroke style of that rectangle. Outside of that function, so after that function, we actually need to use a window.onload event. So we'll say window.onload and then equals draw. So what will happen is um, without this line here, nothing will really happen. So we have a function here, but we need to call that function when the page loads. So by using window.onload, what will happen is when the page loads, it will call this draw function and it will draw the rectangle. So now we can save that and we can open that in the browser. And there we go. So we have our canvas, which is uh, 200 by, so 200 width by 100 height. And inside there, we have a red rectangle, which is 150 width and 75 height. Now, I'm not sure if you can see um, the actual um, where is it? The actual border around the rectangle. So let's just have a look at anything that's going on there. Oh, okay. We haven't actually put the um, we haven't actually applied the stroke yet. So what we need to do, we've, we've specified the fill style and we've specified the stroke style. And then we actually created the rectangle, but we act, act, the filled rectangle, but we haven't actually created the stroke for the rectangle yet. So we need to say ctx dot um, stroke rect. And basically that will be exactly the same as all of the values in the line above. All right, so a little mistake there. Make sure that here you specify the fill style of the rectangle, so the color. Here you specify the stroke style, so the, the border color. Here you actually create or fill the rectangle, and here you actually create the stroke around the rectangle, which will be in the same position, the same width, and the same height. So save that, and we can now refresh, and we can see that this rectangle now has a blue um, stroke around it, blue border line around there. Okay, so that's basically how to um, set up the canvas in your web page and use a JavaScript function to draw a rectangle shape inside the canvas. Thanks for watching.